And good evening, I'm meteorologist Matt Tantow in for Lee Bourne. Well, like I said earlier tonight, nice day out across northern Arizona here in Flagstaff, high of 82. Started out with the morning low of 47, so we had some clouds over. Had to, to act like a blanket, kept it pretty nice uh, overnight as well. 47 was our low. 37 our average for this time of year, 72 our average high for this time of year. So sort of above average across the board, nowhere near like we were back in the year 2000 at 86, our record high there. No precipitation on the uh, rain gauge there, so we're still at 10.25 and uh, our average uh, still about 5 inches below our average for this time of year. So currently outside here in Flagstaff, pretty nice out there. 75 degrees under partly cloudy skies, 14% our relative humidity. Hopefully that will be on the increase overnight tonight. And our winds are out of the southwest right now at 21 miles per hour. So all in all, not a bad day today across northern Arizona. A lot of that had to do with the fact that uh, we had some sunshine in the morning, but as the day progressed, we saw these clouds stream in from the south. Now, I talked a little bit about monsoonal flow. This is not a monsoon flow, a mon uh, but what we are seeing is some moisture from the remnants or what is left of Hurricane Amanda way down here to the south off the coast of Mexico. As she breaks down, she is sort of dissipating, just moving about eight miles to the northeast out in the Pacific, wobbling around, not really doing anything major. And so as she sort of breaks apart, we have a big ridge of high pressure, a low pressure up in uh, Seattle. So that's helping pull this moisture up across the uh, Intermountain West here. And with that, I think it's going to be an increase for us in our chance of precipitation over the next 24 to 48 hours. As you can see on the satellite radar mix, we're already seeing some precipitation start to develop across New Mexico, even uh, northeastern Arizona here over the Navajo Reservation. Uh, we've got a few showers developing as well, and that is going to be the continued sort of <coughs> um, pattern over the next 24 hours. Moisture will continue to stream, cloud cover will stay with us, and chances of some thunderstorms for tomorrow into uh, Thursday uh, or Friday. Tonight, 47 will be our low. Few clouds out there as well tonight, most cloudy, breezy, and probably a little smoke as well as we head into the evening, especially down in the Verde Valley. For tomorrow, again, that moisture flow continues to the south, so we will see a chance of thunderstorms develop. I think we have about a 30% chance across northern Arizona for some thunderstorms. By Friday, that goes down to 10%, so I think really our best chance is tomorrow, 74 for our forecasted high tomorrow, mostly cloudy chance of thunderstorms there. So it's going to be a pretty nice day, maybe a little moisture uh, scattered throughout the Northland in the form of precipitation temperatures sort of moderate out and that is going to be for the most part the story over the next five days. We'll have a chance of thunderstorms tomorrow into Friday and then we will see those temperatures moderate out. Uh, drier conditions come up by Saturday, Sunday into Monday overnight lows in the lower 40s to mid 30s. For Sedona, I put on there at the bottom of the Thursday uh, forecast, they're a little smoky down there tomorrow. Pretty nice temperatures, 87. Maybe a chance of a stray thunderstorm down there. Uh, 66 will be the low there, up to 90 by Friday, and then sort of moderating out for the upper 80s for the rest of the week. Breezy conditions return on Sunday. So all in all, I think we're going to sort of moderate out, return to more normal or seasonable temperatures. But the nice, is, nice thing is we're going to have a chance of thunderstorms tomorrow, so we might actually get some precipitation, um, hopefully over the slide fire, light precipitation for that matter but we might get some moisture around northern Arizona, which would be nice. Yeah, and it's been really nice that the smoke has been decreasing, like you said, heading back south. Yeah, so, you know, in the afternoon, the wind shift, we get a little bit of smoke into Flagstaff, and then at night, as it cools, it literally just gets drops back into those canyons and back into the valleys. So, and I think we'll have another night of that, and hopefully it will get mixed out in the next uh, few days.